Tell me about the latest and greatest from MGL. Oh, great. Yes, it has been a good week and a long and a busy week. Um, we've certainly had our busiest uh, year at Oshkosh here. And our long-awaited 10.4-inch uh, touchscreen EFIS, the biggest in the family of our iEFIS system, was launched at Oshkosh this year. The 10.4-inch iEFIS is part of the family. It can be mixed and matched with its smaller brothers and sisters. It's our brightest screen we've ever done. It's about 2,000 nits of brightness, which is incredibly bright. Like all of the other iEFIS displays, it uses the same push screen system. No one wants to have a screen that they can accidentally touch in flight or accidentally swipe. So you can actually touch the screen, you can rub it, you can be bounce around in turbulence, and you won't accidentally activate a function. To activate a function, you really need to press the screen as if it's a button. So we call it a push screen. So we think that we've helped to eliminate some of the problems with having a touch screen in an airplane as a primary flight instrument. Like all of our other EFASs in the past, this system has multiple screens. We ship the unit with some standard screens that'll be suitable for your aircraft and engine. But like all of our other systems, we have a PC program that lets users literally create their own EFAS and design the screen with whatever inputs they want and to display it in whatever format they want. So for example, you could have an EGT as a bar graph, a dial, a digital readout that takes up the whole screen. So what we've tried to do with our system is we don't tell the user what they want to see. We tell the user, you can have whatever you want on your EFAS. It's all up to you. If you want to go wild and, and create something special for a twin engine, for a nine-cylinder radial engine, for a turbine engine, for a helicopter, you can have the information that you want with the MGL system. How do you support the experimental builder? Because it's one thing to build an airplane, it's another to adapt the panel to the airplane because, let's face it, many of us are not electronics wizards. Yeah, that's absolutely true. Um, well, we're, um, we've been in California for uh, 13 years now and our sole job is to support our user base. And what we've done is, through learning from all of our previous products and previous experiences with customers, we've created a system that is as modular and as plug and play as you could possibly hope for. So, for example, if you look at all of our system devices, each device gets mounted in the airplane in the location that is suitable. And then we have a simple canvas harness that plugs into each device. And so you can literally plug the same connector into each one of the devices and then just string with Molex connectors a daisy chain of our CAN bus wires to all the devices. So for the first time ever, we've got a system where people are actually able to install it completely without having to make a single call to us. Of course, we're available all day, and that's what we do. We, we give support all day long. But the modularity of the system and our a fantastic CAN bus network makes it super easy to install, easier than ever. I understand a few other new things in the MGL lineup. Why don't you tell me what else is new here? Yeah. We have launched uh, also at Oshkosh our a remote comm radio. It's a six and a half watt comm radio. It's exactly the same radio actually as our existing V6 comm radio. It's got a fantastic stereo four place intercom built into it. All the features you'd come to expect, uh, dual watch, scanning. The remote radio is for panels that don't have the mounting depth. So you can get this little remote head for it, which is the controller. And then also like all of our radios, you can control it from the EFIS completely. So where it's convenient, you'd use the EFIS to set a frequency or flip-flop. Where it's convenient, you'd go straight to the radio control and adjust the volume and do something simple like that. And this is our upcoming transponder head. And we work with the Sandia Mode C transponder and the Garrick Mode S. The Sandia has been the real ticket for us for a transponder because you mount it behind the panel and the EFIS makes it real easy to control it. And of course, we interact with the transponder a lot less than we interact with the radio. So it makes perfect sense to mount that out of the panel. And we, we're making a, a, this control head for the Sandia remote transponder just to add more flexibility to that product. What can we expect next in the lineup? Well, coming down the pipe are our Wi-Fi node. The IEFIS system will allow for eight screens. So with one eye box, you can have up to eight screens. One of the nodes, so to speak, can be a wireless node. In about a month, you're going to see some iPad apps coming out that'll talk to our IEFIS. And we're publishing the protocol so that other app producers can make their own apps that talk to us. So the idea is we'll have an MGL avionics app that will do things like download all your engine data. You can replay your flights after the flight. It'll be your logbook, and you'll be able to control certain elements. You'll be able to take it home with you, do some flight planning, and then come back and 
get into the airplane and just execute your flight plan. So we're opening our system up to wireless control uh, via iPads or Android devices. And so that's going to be the next thing. We're pretty excited about it. Very good. Well, we appreciate your time. We wish you nothing but the best. And more important, keep us up to date with the latest and greatest. Every time I uh, talk to you, there's always something new. You're really a hard guy to keep up with, but it's a news business. Thanks so much. Thank you, Jim. Appreciate it. Aero TV is brought to you by... Pipistrel's innovative new Alpha Trainer has been designed from the ground up for flying school operations. Powered by a Rotax 80 horsepower engine, the Alpha burns only 2.5 U.S. gallons of fuel per hour at 100 to 108 knots, giving you the opportunity to make flight training cost-effective once again. Be sure to check out the Pipistrel Alpha when you're ready to select your next trainer. Get more info at pipistrel-usa.com.